Greetings, ghouls and goblins. This is Mike Perlman from Techno Buffalo doing an unboxing of the Samsung Stratosphere for Verizon Wireless. Do you think this phone will blast you into the stratosphere? <laughs> that was a cheesy pun. Let's find out after this fun little graphic. Welcome to my unboxing of the Samsung Stratosphere for Verizon Wireless and this is a true unboxing because I even left the bubble wrap on. It's my favorite part of the unboxing process. It's the bubble wrap snappage. So let's, uh, let's take this off here. Is this the first time you guys have seen bubble wrap in an unboxing? I just give you all the goods, don't I? I'm like the Santa Claus of the unboxing world. Here it is. It's the Verizon Wireless Samsung Stratosphere. This is a Galaxy S phone, part of the burgeoning Galaxy S family lineup. We just have some legal information there. The back is fairly plain. We have the package contents. We get the phone, the lithium ion battery, the pre installed micro SD card. We have the wall USB charger, the quick reference guide, and the product and safety warranty brochure. Shazam! And a picture of this phone. For those of you who don't know, this phone is a sliding QWERTY keyboard phone. In fact, Verizon Wireless and Samsung Telecommunications America recently introduced this phone as the first 4G LTE smartphone from Verizon Wireless equipped with a 5-row QWERTY keyboard and designed with Samsung's 4-inch Super AMO LED screen. So these are kind of specs that we've seen in the past. Uh, before I read any more specs to you, let me just open this phone. And I, I'm really bummed out because there's really no tape um, to speak of here. And usually, instead of John's obligatory knife, I take out the obligatory torch and light it on fire. No, I'm just kidding. I use my uh, Sonic the Hedgehog key and if there was tape there whoosh, I would be doing the spin dash across that bad boy. So here it is, the Samsung Stratosphere for Verizon Wireless. And I have to tell you it's a pretty familiar design. Um, something that I have seen very similar to the Samsung Transform for Sprint, I remember. It kind of has an epic 4G feel. Remember the original epic 4G? Yes, uh, another Sprint phone. So let's set the phone to the right of the box, see what else is in this box. We have our okay SIM card, which is pre-installed in the phone. All righty. We have a cable, USB charging cable, that connects to Oh. oh, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Hey, Sean, what's up? I'm doing an unboxing. All right, we'll not repeat that. Wow, Sean likes to talk. It's cool. It's like talking to Seth Rogen. Okay, and lastly, we have the product safety and warranty information here for the Samsung Stratosphere. Typical fanfare. Oh, and but what I was in the middle of doing was unwrapping the new Samsung charger, which looks so strikingly similar to another charger that's white and boxy. And that's all I'm going to say from there. Let's look at the design of this phone. We have the power lock switch on the side here. On the top we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. On the right we have a fairly small vo volume rocker. Volume rocker. Um, we also have a USB port at the bottom that's for charging. Let's talk about cameras. This thing has a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and on the back I believe we have a 5 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash there. Um, so these specs are pretty similar to many of the phones and many of the Android phones that we've seen last year, we've seen at the beginning of this year. So that is something to consider. Um, as far as this, Android 2.3 gingerbread. And let me fire the phone on finally. Try to get this back on here. And it's actually not that hard to put on and off. The 
got to be honest, the back panel is a little bit flimsy. So, uh, looks like we have some juice in the beautiful Super Mo LED screen. And let's talk about the screen's resolution. Let me see here. Oh, wait. Very cool. I like that. And, of course, we get the Verizon logo, 4G LTE. Now, I will tell you, I'm not going to be able to connect to the 4G LTE in this video. I live in a fairly remote part of New England. Uh, so, the moose antlers have not extended this far yet. Okay. So, we have Android 2.3 Gingerbread, as I said. We've got the camera. The camera also has 720p HD video. And uh, this phone has mobile hotspot capability as well. Uh, up to eight devices, up to eight Wi-Fi devices. Okay. So Bluetooth 3.0 also, and of course Samsung's Media Hub and the typical fanfare there as well. But it's this slide-out QWERTY keyboard that is fairly interesting. And as you can see, it lights up, and um, it's not a bad spread. You know, I'm going to have to really play around with it and see how it does. But here's the phone. We have a pretty good amount of battery life here. And uh, 2.3 gingerbread. You know, it's going to be hard, honestly, hard to swallow with ice cream sandwich. Tasty, delicious ice cream sandwich out of the freezer, um, as I like to say. It's going to be tough to, you know, go back to the gingerbread man. But i got to tell you, um, I guess if you're looking for a 4G Verizon phone that's not the Thunderbolt and has a full slide-out QWERTY keyboard, the uh, Stratosphere is your answer. So that's all the teasing you're going to get with the Samsung Stratosphere. This has been my unboxing for Techno Buffalo. Check out more on this phone and every other additional electronic you can think of. We're even considering pet tech. Yes, pet tech. But for next time, I'm Mike Perlman for Techno Buffalo, and I'll talk to you guys later.